Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Today we continue talking about a subject that has already been discussed here, but is worth repeating again. It has to do with the theme of our prayer today, which is personal care. I will start with prayer then. My Archangel Michael. May you help me to have love for this third dimensional physical body. May you help me take care of him properly, lovingly. May I feed him correctly. That I don't put him in risky situations. May I protect you. May I take care of him with affection. May I realize that he is my greatest treasure, here in this dimension, because it is through him that I feed, that I rest, that I evolve, that I produce that I participate in all processes, here in this world that I live. May I learn every day to have more affection, more care and more love for this physical body that I have. Which may not be, in the eyes of many, very beautiful, but for our father or mother God, it is my greatest wealth. Continuing to talk about personal care, today I'm going to follow a topic that many have asked about, and I think it's worth commenting on it. This subject was already discussed a while ago, but let's return to it to reassure some hearts. As I said in the previous video, in the fifth dimension there will be no diseases, as your bodies will not have the imbalances that they have here in the third dimension. However, I can say that 100% of you are sick. All your bodies are poisoned, they are dirty, they are unbalanced, by the very environment in which you live, by polluted air, for everything you eat for the water you drink. So let's imagine the following, you're going to move into the fifth dimension, and this will all disappear? Will this all be cured overnight? No, it won't be like that. Adapting to life in the fifth dimension will take time. You will not sleep in the third dimension and wake up in the fifth, totally balanced, totally clean, without any type of illness. No, nothing like that. I'm not going to tell you that, because that's not what's going to happen. So what will happen? First, you will be treated. Each of you will be treated individually. Remember, the beings of light are there. And they have very advanced treatment techniques for all the ailments you have. Then each of you will be treated. Do you realize the importance they will have in your lives? It'll just make an aside, so be ready to share your lives with them right? Continuing. Then you will be treated for all the illnesses you have. The great concern today, for many, is what will happen to their patients, to their elderly, to those who do not have mental awareness, to those who do not have the physical conditions to take any direction. So let's go. When I asked you to put everyone, everyone you want in that notebook, to guarantee a seat on the train, I wasn't kidding. So these people who are close to you must already be in your notebook, I believe. So it doesn't matter, if you are a sick person, if it is a person who has a conscience, if it is a person who has no conscience. For us there is no difference. The only difference is that they will undergo the same assessment as you. It will be analyzed, the light in your hearts, that's all. Then you ask yourselves, but what about these beings who are mentally disabled? What's the problem? They remain soul, they remain children of our father or mother God. Just because they don't have the same human consciousness as you, are they less of a child than you? No, they are just a representation of a great lesson that you have to go through. Then they will be analyzed just like you, for the glow in their hearts. I think you can see that this being is an evolved being, because incarnating in a totally disabled body is not for every soul. It is for an evolved soul, who is willing to give up feeling everything that everyone else feels, just to be a lesson. Those who are deficient, but who have conscience, then the lesson is mutual, it is their lesson and a lesson for you. In the same way, they will be analyzed by the hearts. So my brothers, we can expand this type of thinking to everyone. What about the people in hospitals? They are part of some family. So don't forget to put them in your notebook. Ah, but there are many who don't have families. Yes he has. Everyone is part of the divine family. 
no one will be forgotten. But everyone will be analyzed by the light in their hearts. Then you ask, but if we are going to be taken by the frequency we are emitting, how will these be taken? Many are unconscious, they have no idea where they are. I repeat again, for the light in your hearts, for the sum of what his soul was. Then, they will not be led by your attitudes, they will not be carried away by your vibrational frequency, but rather by the light in your heart, since it is unable to vibrate anything. So my brothers, what do you think? That we will forget them? That we will abandon those you have already abandoned? Because many are abandoned, because you abandoned them. We're not going to do that. Everyone will have a place. All. Nobody will be left out. Nobody. Everyone will be analyzed. All. Indiscriminately. Some go to the tram, others go to the train. Simple. But, no one will be forgotten. No one will be forgotten. Many have asked about animals that are free and don't have owners. I repeat again, no one will be forgotten. Everyone will be taken and very well looked after. Those animals that you lock up, in cages, so that they just watch, will be the ones that will be best treated, because they are those who suffered the most, who suffer most, for the loss of freedom, for the loss of his life. So my brothers, why the concern? Do you think we would be that cruel? Where is divine love? I already said, no one will be forgotten. There will not be a living being left on the planet, due to forgetfulness. One, whatever type it may be, he will not be forgotten. Well, we have warriors in all areas who are concerned about exactly this. We have those who are taking care of you, and we have those who are taking care of the animals. So don't worry. Don't worry about anyone. Worry about yourselves. This is the biggest concern, are you? You are the ones who have to be worried, in staying high, keep vibrating high, so they can win that train ticket. Then I will explain another point. You put yourself and your entire family in that notebook. And let's say, that by an occurrence of destiny, you become a vengeful being, an evil being, a being that will vibrate the worst possible feelings. What happens to your family? Since you were the one who put them in the notebook. Nothing happens. Whoever has to be taken will be taken, it's not because you took a wrong path that everyone else will suffer the consequences. No. It was your choice. Now theirs is still there. They already have a guaranteed spot because you asked for their spot. So they already have a guaranteed place. Those who don't have family members, who are abandoned, also have a train just for them. They will form another large family, of the destitute, but they will not be forgotten. They will all be there. So my brothers, stop worrying. You don't have to worry at all. The concern is to stay elevated, keep vibrating high. The others have already made their choice. Everyone has already made their choice, your souls have already made the choice. Their hearts shine or they don't shine. So that's it, you don't have to worry. No one will be forgotten. Nobody. What beings of light would we be if we forgot a simple microorganism? Yes, because they also have to be taken, transmuted to the fifth dimension. Because the balance must continue. Ah, my brothers, you will still have a lot to learn. Back to treatments. Then each of you will be treated within the evolved techniques of the light beings that surround you. Your illnesses will be treated, your illnesses will be treated, your deficiencies will be addressed. No one will suffer anything physical anymore, especially because your physique will also be modified, but you will be treated. Each one of you. So, it is up to you to just wait for the moment, to have this individualized and very loving treatment, from the beings of light that surround you. It's my brothers, continue on the path. Keep evolving. Keep raising your vibrations, changing. You are only attracting everything that is good for you. I am Archangel Michael. I'm here, ready, always, to show everyone how to evolve and raise their vibrations. Just ask.